Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. In this episode we'll continue where we left off in, because in the previous one we covered the Steam Dynamo and today we are covering the Magmatic, the Innovation and Numismatic. So only one in the previous video but We'll cover these a bit more quickly since you probably already know how they work. And uh, when it comes to augments, there are a few of them, namely these four. They work the same for all dynamos, uh, so I don't need to cover them again. But I will mention them, of course, but not, not in detail. So let's start with the magmatic dynamo. Instead of using solid fuel like we did with the steam and this magmatic will use Well, normally it has only two types of fuel, but other mods may add more fuel types You have lava and blazing pyrothium That's two, two types I'll cover here, but I know industrial craft adds some fuel and yeah I can't really cover all that, but uh, when you take a look in the interface, the dynamo looks exactly the same. And when you hover over the fuel, it will tell you the energy. So the base energy amount for one bucket of lava is 120,000 RF, and for, for the blazing pyrothium, it's 2 million. So just fuel it in and it will work directly. So no, no problems. Uh, as before, the basic tier of uh, Magmatic Dynamo provides 40 RF per tick. And then with the hardened, it's 60 and reinforced 80. And you upgrade with these conversion kits or upgrade kits up to the resonant level of 120 RF per tick. But still, you only get the same amount of energy regardless. It's just quicker. So if we do like this, so it starts to fill up and then we can run and it looks like this and you can see the power and everything. So nothing, nothing strange with that. Then um, we have the fuel catalyzer, works exactly like before. Plus 15% for every, uh, every augment. And with the higher tiers, they will stack up to four at maximum, they will get you a uh, additional 60% um, for one bucket of lava. And for the blazing, of course, it's also, also plus 60%. And the, uh, moving on to the excitation field limiter, it will reduce the loss to a minimum, namely zero. Uh, if, you're not, if you don't have this augment, the energy above the max level will be lost, but here, give me a second. Now we've reached the maximum content of our RF in the internal buffer. We still consume six RF per tick, but if we place the augment, we're down to zero. And also the transmission coil ducting. It means that you can insert your fuel, in this case it's lava, directly into the, to the coil. And we get the uh, we get everything running. So so far everything is exactly like with the steam dynamo, except for the fuel type. So let's go down to some differences. Uh, well, we could also use the boiler conversion. You just need to fill it with water and lava, of course. So if we do like this and we insert lava, you can see we have two tanks and we produce 120 millibuckets of steam per tick. Now, the steam dynamo generates 240, so it's not as efficient as the steam, but it can still be worth doing it because the net, net energy outcome is still higher than, uh, than using only fuel catalyzers. So one of these and three, three of the catalyzers will give you some additional one. 
you see I got 140 here with only the steam boiler uh, compared to 138 so it's still a good approach but you need water and you need one steam dynamo with the turbine conversion just make sure that this steam is uh, matches up with this one so it works exactly the same just slightly slightly different with the the values and uh, and the fuel type so as a final part on the magmatic let's cover actually the the argument that is unique for the magmatic we have something called an isentropic reservoir and um, this concept adds another factor to uh, or another variable to to the equation namely the coolant factor so coolant factor is higher with with a higher coolant so water has the value of 20 and then the gelid cryothium has the value of 60. so let's let's do some math here so the coolant we, we as we got with the uh, with the boiler conversion we have an additional ta internal tank here so now with water i can you can see here we get 138 krf out of one bucket of lava so that's one an additional 15 percent uh, it's the same as a catalyzer actually but the math is a bit different so the coolant factor is 20 we and we get the plus 15 plus the coolant factor it's a 20 and minus this uh, this constant 20 which cancels the water which gives us the plus 15 percent but if we're using energy well, well the lava together with gelid cryothium well that's has a 60 as a coolant factor that gives us 15 plus 60 minus 20 so that's a total of plus 55 percent from the normal 120 so that gives us the plus 555 and therefore the 186 the another difference is that the the out the maximum power 240 rf per tick here and that's for the hardened version so you, you can You'll get more RF out by using the isentropic reservoir. And of course, when you're using the resonant tier of, of uh, magmatic dynamo and you combine it with gelid cryothium and, and catalyzers, you will get a lot more RF. So uh, as before, you can, you can combine some of the augments, not the specializations, but the the normal augments and one specialization okay so that's pretty much the magmatic it's a quite simple one uh, especially if you've seen the dynamos before so let's move on with the other two and let's be effective here the innovation dynamo has a different type of fuel redstone and if you do remember how the fuel worked with coal and, and blocks of coal, we get 64k RF from one redstone and 640 from one block of, but it's only nine. So you get a bonus from using blocks instead. And you get 40 RF per tick, and then you connect it just like <laughs> just like a normal dynamo, and you'll get the 64k. So nothing weird. You get the 60, 80 and up to 120 like we normally do and you can boost it with augments like you've done before. But the fun part with... Oh, actually, I should mention that. More catalyzers will give you more power. So the 64k turns into 73.6 uh, like, we, like we normally do get. But it doesn't work on the other type of fuel. So um, the other type of fuel, it's not only redstone. You can actually make them run on on RF contained or tools with RF. Can you show, show the recipes here? You can see there are lots of pages here. Uh, redstone, cover that already. 
But then we have energy cells, we have uh, capacitors, we have uh, flux infused armor, we have tools and jetpacks and uh, drills and magnets and lots of stuff. So that means that if you have a flux infused sword like this one, it has 320k of RF stored, it's charged up. You can actually turn it on and we'll get this one will be emptied and transformed back into energy. Uh, so here's another example. I have an energy cell here, 98k RF. Just put it into this dynamo. Now it's empty and in this energy cell we have 98k RF. But that doesn't work on the augment, the catalyzer. That would be kind of cheating. So if we take something here, let, let's say we have this one, 368, and we put it here, we will get the 368 here. So you, you can't boost the from the tools and the energy cells, uh, but you can boost RF from, uh, from redstone. So the Innovation Dynamo has one augment that is specific for that one. It's called the Disjunctive Extraction. So that's a fun name. What does it do? Well, enchantments. So let's go into here. You can see I've tried it already. So let's make a quick example. <clears throat> the higher... Um, let's see, let's take a pickaxe. And... We get soulbound two, great. And here we got soulbound one. That's not fun. Insight. Well, that's fun. So if we take a look here, we get seventy-five k RF from that, and sixty-eight point seventy-five from this one. And if I place them in here, they will the item will be consumed, and uh, the RF will be will be sent to the energy cell. Now, if I combine these, we get Insight 1 and Soulbound 2. And now we got 150k RF. So the amount of RF you'll get is higher with higher levels of enchants. Perhaps some other factors as well, but I think it's only the enchantment levels. Diamond will not give you a better outcome compared to the iron. So this new one got 306k and this was only 150. So our high level enchant gives us a lot more. But then let's see, we'll take the conversion kit, upgrade it. And let's take a look again. If we insert, see, 36 with some fuel catalyzers, 416. So that one, those can be combined. That works, but not for the tools. So now if we jump into here and we'll throw it here. Item is consumed, nothing is left. We get 600 RF per tick and it will give us, uh, what was it? Almost 400,000. Okay, great. That's the innervation. It's pretty simple. Either redstone or tools or with an augment also enchantments. So I think we have time for a quick final one, the innovation. It's just as simple and it's quite fun, actually. I think it's very, very amusing. Uh, we have the basic and we have the resonant 42, 120. That's the same as before. We have the augments. They are the same as before. More fuel or more, more power. Uh, coil ducting or field limiter to reduce a loss. Everything is the same. But what about the tool or, or the fuel? If we click here to show the recipes, you can see we have coins. So this is very amusing. If you have a surplus of, uh, let's say you have a great surplus of iron. You have so much iron, you don't know what to do. Well, build yourself a compactor, put an augment in that one called the Numismatic Press. I think we'll cover this briefly late in a later episode when we 
cover compactors again. But you need the numismatic press and this will make you, let's see here, um, I'll take an ingot, place it here, and I out, out to output it here, I got three more iron coins. So one iron ingot gives you three coins, and so on. Constant tan, nickel, it, it doesn't matter, it's the same process. But not only <coughs> um, coins, we also have emerald. So coins and emerald, that's our fuel. If we take a look here for the coins, we'll have 30, 40, 60, 100,000, 45, a bit different. So if you have a surplus of ingots, place them in a numismatic dynamo after you convert them to coins and you will get fuel or RF. Use your catalyzer to get more fuel and, and so on. And then the final detail is of course the, the final augment. It's called lapidary calibration. It will boost your maximum power as well as make it work on different types of fuel. So as you can see here, I can't take coins any longer. It won't accept them. It will accept emeralds, 250k RF, and that is higher. We get more output from that in the in this with this augment. But it also unlocks more fuel types. So if we take these and this one, and we take a look here, 1.5 million, 100,000, 50k, 1.87 million, and and other mods may add even more, or the other mods do add more gemstones as fuel. So typically gems, uh, emeralds garnets, rubies, or whatever the mods may add, they might work in this one. And as, as normal, combine with other augments to, uh, to get out even more. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers all these three. They are covered quite briefly and quickly, but that's because they are they work in this exact same way in many ways. Augments are the same. They only have one augment each that is specific for, for them. And that was using coolant as a factor here to boost the, the energy out. And uh, enchantments and gemstones. So in the next episode, the final one for the dynamos will cover the compression and reactant dynamo and i hope i'll see you then take care and bye bye